Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will do you guys into my Notion. And by the way, this was my very first upload this year, 2021. And I think this would be a better starter content for my channel because I know some of you are looking for an application that provides components such as databases, Kanban boards, wikis, calendars, and reminders. And this year, it would be really essential for us to be organized. So, I'm gonna show you guys an application that is perfect for digital planning and more. So, if you didn't know what Notion is, Notion is the all-in-one workspace for everyone. A digital planner to organize your stuff. And not only that, you can also track everything or anything you want so easily. Whether it is a mood tracker, your budget tracker, diary to set your goals or to-do list literally everything so it's basically convenient and it is customizable i mean girl this is it <laughs> so okay guys disclaimer i know not everyone has to do it but for me i think this will work fine because i'm more into my gadget than using a traditional planner these days and it's easy for me to take down tasks in this application so what works for me might not work for you and just be yourself okay you don't have to push yourself into things that you are not belong also this is not a sponsored video i just like to share my own workspace to everyone and before we begin if you want to sign up for notion make sure to click the link on my description box and then you're ready to go so yeah without further ado let's get into it so i started notion on january 3 because my parents recently bought a new laptop because my old one doesn't work its job anymore especially in my course and a good spec of computer or gadget is a must because currently i am taking a multimedia arts course so then this, they decided to bought me one that can do its job in terms of editing and such, you know. Plus, it's a very old one, so we gotta replace it because it's too laggy. And here is a quick overview on what's inside my Notion. You see, it's just a personal plan, but you can do a lot of it already. Also guys, I link all my templates in the description box, so if you want to use it, just click the link and you'll see the duplicate button in it. Just make sure you're already signed up for Notion. So yeah. Just click the duplicate button and everything is set to your Notion and you can use it already. It's customizable so again you can edit stuff you want in it later and it's pretty much that. So here are my pages, my class schedule, my daily plan, weekly and monthly. Also my YouTube page where I put my ideas or plan about my channel. And lastly, my personal page. And I welcome you guys to my first one, which is my class schedule. Um, this template is not mine. It's from Cafe Study from YouTube. So if you don't know her, make sure to check her out. Um, I just changed the content and everything, but the whole idea is from her, so I'll just link her template down below if you want, and I also link my template, so yeah, it's too girly. I just love designing, and I mean aesthetically, so here on my cover, I got the GIF from Pinterest, that's my holy grail. And I'll show you guys how to change it just by linking the photo address and 
pasting it here. And there you go. Very customizable, right? So that was the same thing I did in my icon. The only difference is that my icon are transparent. And oh, I have the same character icon for my pages. I just found it cute. All of it were the same. If all of it were the same. So I just did that. <laughs> Here is my weekly schedule from Monday to Friday. Next is my classes and this is where I store my subjects following the task that I will do later on that specific subject. So here is the name, date, and the type of task. Actually you can save different tab in here so, you, so that if you click it, it will suggest what you prefer on that column. And the next is the topic and of course I also put the checkbox so you know I can check it once it's done that's it and it's just the same with the rest of it I'm just new to notion guys I'm still exploring it and I might change it in the future but I trying to show you guys my setup for now okay so let's move on you see there's a quote here that just popped out of my mind all of a sudden. So if you know who quoted it, just comment down below. <laughs> and oh my god, Haikyuu, I am a fan, super fan. So here's a JF of them and Mama Suga because he's a mom material. Please agree with me. <laughs> and that's it in my class schedule. So the next thing is the daily plan because it's very simple what i mean it, it is so plain the daily plan is plain it's very simple i got the inspo again from cafe study but yeah it's already self-explanatory i guess obviously this is where i take down task for the day and here's my priority list over the other and i also have the archive where i put the cancelled or a scheduled plan and again haiku it's Bokuto, Akashi, and Kuro. Okay, the next page is the weekly plan. You know what, guys? It took me over two hours to finish this page because it was my very first page and I'm clueless on what to do. What is this and that, you know? I'm very lost. So I'm just gonna call it an experimental page because it is. It just ended up like this. So here is the week from Monday to Friday. A quote in here just as the same from the recent one and who knows Ju Pyong from start up I got a photo of Kim Shun who who played Han Ji Pyong which I admire until now and the character he portrayed deserves better like <laughs> but yeah I like his dimples okay I put a quote from the series here in the bottom that can motivate me okay so and the next is the shortcut of my monthly and daily plan so it will be easy for me to catch up. I have also the archive and the full calendar of the month here. I have the list of goals per week and priorities of course. And the end of the page I just put this cute JF here. So to kawaii. <laughs> Let's move on with the monthly plan which is my favorite page because of its design i put the code before anything else here and i also put the calendar here it's january of course because it's my monthly page and i had to put the entire calendar here so i can see the overview of my task in a month and to do this just click the slash and type calendar in line and then boom click it and it's done very easy and in the corner of this page is the set of priorities full month and some of self reminder so I won't forget then that's on that page <laughs> next is my second favorite design which is my youtube workspace i like it i super love it and yes this is where i store or brainstorm content and everything about my youtube i also have here the inline calendar 
And in the corner, I have my video ideas and I put a JF under it because I find it cute to put a random JF here of a girl tying her hair. It means let's start being productive. <laughs> so next is the reminders, everything, things, and lastly, I set a goal over here which is to hit 500 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now and for more updates, just click on my bell button so next is another GIF of Yuzuru holding a camera from the anime Silent Voice watch that it's very beautiful <laughs> because I think this will fit the entire page as it says YouTube you know filming and such so I put Yuzuru in there and beside him there goes my archive and memory dump that's all on my YouTube workspace so the last one is my personal. So this is personal because I put the things I want to do in here or try just so I can have a checklist once it's done. And I have here five columns. The Netflix series, movies, animes, art ideas, and character chibi that I wish to draw in the future. So yeah, that's it for the final page guys. So we're done, we're done done. So that's basically it and again this was my first time in Notion and I'm still learning about it and we all have different taste and style. For me it works this way, maybe to you it is not but as long as we think it is functional for us then go for what you want instead of following others so yeah that's it. That's all my Notion setup. All of the templates I have will be mentioned below. So again, if you want it, you can get or duplicate it and re-edit it later. So let me know in the comment box how you use Notion and some other tips and tricks that you can share to me or to everyone here. And if you want to try Notion and start using it to organize your stuff this 2021, make sure to click the link down below to sign up for free using your Google account. It works on different devices too as well. Just download it in Play Store or Apple Store. It's totally convenient because it's free for personal use only, but if you want to upgrade, there's a lot of plans you can avail. So make sure to see it on Notion's website for more information about it. And yeah, that's pretty much all for this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hit my notification bell for more updates. I'll see you guys in my next video. So, bye! Have a good day ahead!